I'm Dr. Alan Thornhill and I'm the UK Country Manager at iGenomics. I'm going to tell you briefly about our POC or Products of Conception test. Unfortunately, many pregnancies, whether spontaneous or following assisted reproduction treatments, end in miscarriage. In fact, more than 50% of miscarriages in the first three months of pregnancy are the result of chromosomal abnormalities. And this includes women who have undergone assisted reproduction treatment. All fetal cells must have two copies of each chromosome, one from the mother's egg and one from the father's sperm. Abnormalities in the correct number of chromosomes can cause fetal malformation, miscarriage or neonatal death. So the diagnosis of a chromosomal abnormality can be important for planning future pregnancies. The POC test is suitable in case of miscarriage following a spontaneous pregnancy or miscarriage following assisted reproduction treatment. In both cases, the test results can serve as useful information for future treatment or reproductive decision making. The POC test analyzes all 24 chromosomes using next generation DNA sequencing or NGS technology to check if the miscarriage was the result of chromosomal aneuploidy. After the POC tissue sample is received in our laboratory, we divide the sample into multiple pieces and extract DNA so that we can analyze the chromosomal content. One of the difficulties faced when analysing POC samples is to correctly identify the fetal tissue from other maternal tissues which may accompany the sample. For this reason, if the sample gives a normal female result, the DNA extract is compared with the mother's blood to identify or rule out maternal contamination. In this way, we can be confident that the sample obtained is of fetal origin. The accuracy of the result depends mainly on three factors. First, on the presence of contamination with maternal tissue. It's important to obtain the cleanest possible sample and to avoid taking maternal tissue or blood clots. In addition, we ask that a maternal blood sample is provided, allowing us to use DNA fingerprinting technology to properly distinguish fetal and maternal tissues. Second, it's important to know the week in which the pregnancy stopped progressing, as that has an influence on the size of the fetus and the chance of the test working properly. Third, in the case of twin pregnancy loss, it's essential to ensure that samples from each fetus are collected and labelled separately. Finally, I'd like to thank you for placing your trust in iGenomics. If you've suffered a miscarriage, this test offers important and reliable information about the possible causes and can help you and your doctor to make informed choices about your treatment to improve success in the future.